In today's video, we are going to be discussing the top five things that I hate most about the Traxxas Stampede two-wheel drive. Now, we're going to focus primarily on the Stampede two-wheel drive XL5 brush model. That is the model I have in front of me. Now, as you can see, this model right here is far from stock. I've done quite a few upgrades to it. We're going to be talking specifically about the things that I hate most about a bone stock model from Traxxas. Now, this right here is one of the cheapest 110 models you can buy from Traxxas. I bought this specific one for $159.95. Um, which was quite the deal. Uh, but they come in roughly, you can find them around $170, $180. So we're gonna start with number five and we're gonna work our way down to number one. Now the number five thing that I hate most about the Traxxas Stampede two-wheel drive is the lack of a wheelie bar or bumper stock. Now as you can see, I have got a wheelie bar fitted. This is actually the second wheelie bar that I've gone through. The first one was a Traxxas one made out of plastic, landed really hard, and it snapped. Uh, so I had this one for a Traxxas Drag Slash. It does fit on the Stampede. It's aluminum construction. Um, it looks a bit outrageous on this machine because it sticks out so far, but it does the job. So I'd say at minimum, I wish this thing had some sort of bumper. So what happens is when this thing pulls a wheelie, which it will do, a lot of the weight is biased towards the rear. When it pulls a wheelie, it goes right up on this transmission, scrapes up the transmission, and then if you go too far over, it ends up catching the body on the ground. So this part of the body end up catching on the ground and then you just flip over yourself and that's a constant issue. So that is my number five gripe with the Stampede two wheel drive. So now moving on to number four. Moving on to number four, number four would probably be the steering servo saver. So as you can see on this one, I'll zoom in, I have got an upgraded servo saver on this. Uh, this is actually one from the brand Hot Racing. Stock, it's just a plastic piece. Very cheap. I think it broke on like my second or third run. Uh, I was jumping it, snapped immediately. It just can't hold up to any sort of bashing. This is probably a $15 or $20 upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and leave it linked down below if you want to check it out. Well worth it. So that would be the number four gripe is a servo saver is super weak, especially if you want to start jumping it. For general reuse and if you're not going to jump it, it should hold up. Um, but it is just plastic with a spring inside and once it falls apart, there's really no putting it back together. Uh, moving on to number three. Now, moving on to the number three thing I hate most about the Stampede two-wheel drive, that would be the battery tray. So here's the issue. The issue is stock. It has enough room to hold a two-cell pack. If you zoom in here, or I'll lean in, uh, you probably can't tell, but this actually, these spacers are not stock. This actually has something called the battery expansion kit which is a Traxxas upgrade part, which basically lifts up this ESC and this receiver box platform so you can fit a larger battery underneath this platform. Also includes these longer uh, posts that you screw into each side so it can hold a taller battery. Because stock, this thing can only hold a battery that's roughly this tall. Now, let me know in the comments down below because I'm, I didn't look this up and I'm not 100% sure. Does the VXL model have this exact same layout or does it have more space underneath the ESC for a taller battery. Because here's the issue. The issue is this is a two cell pack right here. Typical two cell pack. You can find some a little bit thinner than this, but this is relatively normal size. And this would fit underneath the stock uh, location and underneath of this fine. It's fine because if you're brushed and you keep the brush system in it, you never can run 3S anyway. The maximum you can run is a 2S pack. So no issues. But if you want to run a three cell pack ever, because I swapped in a brushless system, a cheap one from the brand Onyx, I cannot fit a three cell pack underneath of this receiver box uh, platform or underneath the stock. The stock post only went to about this high. So I could not fit anything bigger than a two cell pack under here. So here is pretty typical three cell pack. You can find some thinner than this. You can definitely find some thinner, but most are not going to fit underneath of the stock strap system. And that's a major flaw, I think. So you're going to have to let me know down below if you have a VXL model. Can you fit a three cell that's this tall in their stock? Or do you need that same expansion kit? It's just an extra part that you need and it's just a bit annoying. That's my thoughts on it. So that's my number three. Let's move on to number two. Now, moving on to the number two thing I hate most about the Stampede two-wheel drive would be the lack of realism. One of the things that's kept me from buying the Stampede for years is the lack of realism. I've always thought the body sat way too high and you can see right through the fender well. Like, I can see you guys through the fender well. I've never liked that. I've always felt like the body should sit probably a good inch lower than this. But here's the issue. The issue is with the expansion kit that I'm running, I cannot lower these posts anymore because this bed part of the truck body is already sitting almost onto the wires of my ESC. So I cannot lower this 
down anymore. And the front actually, without some sort of aftermarket body mount, you can't lower it at all. So there's just one stock height. You cannot lower this. So the body sits where it sits. Honestly, it looked even worse stock because as you can see, I changed out the wheels for some Proline. Uh, well, the wheels are actually from a Traxxas Max. So these are actually the Traxxas Max wheels. I bought some 17 millimeter wheel hex adapters and then I glued on some Proline, uh, what are these, the Badland MX-28 tires. And uh, th this thing looks probably 10, 15 times better with these tires on because I'll show you what it came with stock. What it came with stock were these, which make this thing look extremely, extremely toy-like. So imagine this thing with these tires and wheels, and then you can see through the body, it just looks like a toy. As soon as you remove these wheels and tires, it looks a lot less like a toy. It looks a lot more like a hobby-grade machine, in my opinion. I think it makes it look a lot better, but still, I wish this body was a bit lower slung. I wish that the body set probably an inch lower. I understand they're going for like a stadium slash monster truck theme, but... I don't like that I can see the top of the shocks through here. I don't like I can see the body post. It just needs to be lower, but there's really no way to run it lower and continue to run this setup that I have because of where they put the ESC and the uh, receiver box tray. So that would probably be my number two gripe. And the number one gripe, which is by far the most legitimate gripe and the biggest thing that I hate most about this machine is the fact that they use Phillips head screws for almost every single screw on this machine. So I'm actually gonna come to you guys real quick so you can get a good look at this. As you can see, they use Phillips head screws on almost everything. Aside from the receiver box, um, that's about the only thing that has got hex screws, which is what I prefer. That's what most people prefer for hobby grade machines. But on everything else, they use Phillips head screws, which are annoying. Even if you have the right size driver, it's so much more difficult to get these unthreaded and threaded back in. You always feel like you're stripping out the heads. Uh, the hardest ones to get out are the ones on the transmission. I know because I've already had to take the transmission apart once. And it's just a major annoying thing that I wish they would have spent a bit more money on. So it would have been easier to get these uh, screws out. So if you have one of these, you probably know what I'm talking about. Everything is held on with Phillips head screws. And it is just very annoying to get these out. Um, they're very difficult. Probably takes two or three times longer to get these out compared to a, a hex screw. And they're much easier to strip out as well. So that is my number one gripe with the Stampede two-wheel drive. Now, I do really quick want to touch on an honorable mention because this thing also comes with bushings in place of wheel bearings. So I, I put that kind of as um, an honorable mention because I never really noticed any issues with it, but I have a feeling if I would have driven it for longer with those brass bushings, I would have noticed probably more resistance. There probably would have been more slop as those brass bushings wore out. But... Um, it's just another thing that they did to cheap out was rather than putting actual uh, ball bearings, shielded ball bearings in, they just used brass bushings. I swapped those out a while ago for actual bearings, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this little video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and stay tuned for future videos. Later.